Hello, and thanks for joining us, uh, or me, <laughs> for uh, Samuel, for Samuel in springtime. Uh, today's Thursday, May 20th, and we'll be looking at the 20th chapter of the book of 1 Samuel. It's a long chapter, and much like the story of David and Goliath, it's similar in length and similar in narrative. It is one story encapsulated in this chapter, and it's a good one. It's a cool, cool story. So let's let's dig right into it. Again, Saul after David. And 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 Jonathan, the son of Saul and the friend of David, doesn't really believe that 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 his father could be after David's. Well, why would he be wanting to persecute this innocent man, David? And so to convince him, he says, Listen, I'm afraid of your father. And so the new moon is coming. There's apparently a, a, a monthly feast. And he's ex- David is expected to be there along with Jonathan and Saul, and it's the king's feast, so it belong, you know, it's something that Saul is hosting. And he he says to his friend Jonathan, "I'm going to go away. I'm not coming to the feast. It's a three night feast." He said, "If your father looks for me, this is an ex- I'm not verbatim, but this is, if your father looks for me, tell him that I have gone to." my father's house in Bethlehem to my brothers to participate in a sacrifice for my family. And if he has two outcomes, if this angers him, he is disposed to evil against me. And if he says, Oh, great, then we're fine. And so David goes and hides in a field. And then he and Jonathan work out this very strange signaling, uh, idea with arrows shooting arrows and little boys going to run and get the arrows so <clears throat> the first night Saul doesn't notice I mean he notices that David's not there but he doesn't make a comment about it the second night uh, when David's not there uh, Saul says why isn't the son of Jesse at my table where I expect him to be and Jonathan said well I, I gave him leave to go to his family you know explain the whole thing that they talked about Saul is enraged I mean, not just like he's not even hiding it. He says his anger was kindled against Jonathan. And he said to him, you son of a perverse, rebellious woman. I don't know why he brought his mother into this. I, <laughs> maybe that was a saying back then. You know how we have that saying, S-O-B, you know? Uh, maybe that's where this comes from. But he keeps bringing his mother into it. I don't, we don't even know anything about Jonathan's mother. But he says, you son of a perverse woman. Do you know, do I not know that you have chosen the son of Jesse to your own shame and to the shame of your mother's nakedness? Again, bringing in the mother into it. Um, For as long as the son of Jesse lives upon the earth, neither you nor your kingdom shall be established. So the patrilineal is cut off at Saul, and that's what Saul's saying. Jonathan, you're not going to have a kingdom because you're trying to protect David. David's going to be the new king. And um, uh, and then so, so, but he still defends his friend. Why should he be put to death? Uh, but Saul threw a spear at Jonathan. So he's, he's throwing spears. He did this to David already. And then Jonathan knew that his father had decided the evil had entered him, went out to the field, shot the arrows over the head of the kid, not to the left or whatever the story was. And they knew... He, that was the signal to David that he had to run away and Saul's anger, anger was kindled against him. But before that, they embraced and they said this emotional goodbye. And David, Jonathan said to David, go in peace, since both of us have sworn in the name of the Lord, saying, the Lord shall be between me and you and between my descendants and your descendants forever. And he got up and left and Jonathan went into the city. They were weeping and embracing one another and saying goodbye to one another. And uh, it's just a, it's just a cool story about how uh, Jonathan saves David. Uh, David figures out, and then they convince it. You know, I, I just I just think it's great. It's very human, and it's very loving. There's a lot of love going on there, and <clears throat> but King Saul's losing it. Um, he's throwing spears at people. His his anger is just out of control, and um, I'm not sure. Uh, if he's going to last too much longer, but uh, we'll see. Good story in chapter 20. Have a great Thursday.